Good morning and welcome back to Six Ashes. Today we are working with the animals. It is Sunday the 13th of January. And we are in the midst of winter so it's Sunday January the 13th. 1967 we need to sort out the sheep pan get them filled up with water yeah, we haven't done a video since December Got a hundred and eleven thousand pounds left since you last joined us when we bought the sheep and the cattle for the farm. seem too long now before we are out in the fields also need some more a Putting into the animal pen, we will pop a crust and top up with water. When we need to get mucked out. Yeah, top that up. Get this old girl back in its shed. And get the loader tractor out. A fair bit of manure to be shifted today to be fair. So 35 will pop back into its shed. We need to go get a bale of A. For our cattle. And then we need to get the milk fork on and get them cleaned out, then the straw blower to get them bedded. Now, get that bail into position where we need it. There we have it. This can go in the shed. Manure bucket on. And 
the paint is cleaned out. Always good to have a plan for a Sunday. Tomorrow we will probably sell some potatoes. First of all we need to get the cereal sold as well. Too long before we have the drill back out in the fields. Pretty nice winter's morning, the sun shining bright. Which is good because it means that we may get shut of the snow early in the year. getting enough time to head over to the other yard as well but rest assured if we run out of time we will sort those animals out today fairly big pile of manure to be spread during the spring or even keep it until the autumn and spread it on the land bucket poles will sort out the yard this end and just blow some straw in jump aboard the major and we can then head over to the other farm
will probably be tomorrow when we get the tractors we need on the farm. Uh, yeah, two, three or four. Looks like it's going to be three. manure to be spread as well as soon as the spring weather gets here and we get shot of the snow. on the heat next. There you get the straw blower connected and that will be the animals this end sorted for the day. that time. <coughs> Better late than never. That is that all. Sorted. Just double check that we are recording. We are indeed. Just have to double check it. Being on a single screen nowadays because of the VR for the racing. A little bit of wheel spin there just slid us around the wrong direction. is all of that done we now need to get on the pods and major get the milk filled up so you can see we do actually sell milk 1032 litres there we have it ourselves around and head over to the other dairy farm uh, these majors coming to their end of their life but still here at the moment Not sure whether we could now into 1967 whether the cattle will 
be producing milk up here. I've got a few more cattle, a few more sheep down this end. We will have a look at the animals before we finish today's episode. So that will be a thing to wait for at the end. <coughs> See what young we have what animals we are due I think we should have some lambs born again since the last time we looked sugar beet factory I will do off camera done a fair bit of the sugar beet factory so not a major problem to leave that <coughs> until later a lot of these crops that we're in does look like they've got them out of the way down to the sheep field still enough wool down here uh, well, enough hay down here to keep them fed Water trough is sorted. Looks like they need a bit of a clean. We'll bring the international over here. First of all, we want to pop round to the crew yard where the cattle are. Get them cleaned out, watered. Rebedded. And then we can go sell the milk. And we shall pop through the shed and round. No milk here to collect up. Should have enough space there. So they have got a little bit of cleaning up once doing. So we want to do the cheap first, don't we? Head down and get the sheets feeding area cleaned up. This tractor in the Nuffield will be the first two tractors to leave the farm this one because we don't like the front axle a lot and the nutfield just basically because it's got no lights for night time work
this tractor has been the general work tractor until now. Does also some point need a refuel, but it's fine for today. Why these animals this end aren't producing any milk, I haven't got a clue, but not producing milk, but they are producing plenty of mess when they're feeding. But that is that tractor done with for the day. get on the 165 and get them cleaned out not brilliant in the snow these tractors but We will pop out here and get their water drop top top for them. Not with manure, so don't panic. I'm going to start feeding the cattle manure. They are providing that to feed the crops. Not sure why it seems to 
drift its way across the snow more than the others, but Once you get used to it, it's fine on snow, it's just a little bit front end light and doesn't steer too well, but minor niggle with the tractor. this time than we had last time I think but that's to be expected because we got the extra cattle to go with the 135, the 165 still not turning perfectly but I think this bucket pole will be it. May surprise us and have an extra one. Again, not turning at all. shut the gates and get the straw blower out, take the milk over and sell it.
That has got that job done. Should actually bring the gritting tractor over from the store and grit our yard for another season. around We need to get this under cover and then get the milk taken over to the dairy. Once we get to the dairy and this milk sold, we will have a look at all the animal fence. Got it all written down so we can check it. milk over and sold and that will do us for the Sunday as I said the other day all the sugar is in the sugar beet processing plant very close to the end of our income from there.
does look pretty around here when the snow is on the ground but it's not very practical for working in Garage on the right now, so there's only just past the, the garage. And so looking at the animal pens, the big sheep pasture we've got over at the original farm. So we've got a lamb, another one, we've got a few lambs, that one's newborn, no no that's a mature one. So that's only 0.9 years old and that one is 2.8 it doesn't weigh as much as the other one not to worry so 0.3 of a year for a lamb 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 so a lot of lambs 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.2 uh, a lot of lambs to be born there the other dairy farm sheep pasture got a young lamb there which is a male which once the fat will be sold so we've got 0 0.3 of a year 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.3 and that is all the lambs the large cattle pasture and we've got the bull, oh we've got a newborn bull there so we need, he will be getting castrated uh, that is a newborn that is a newborn so we've got plenty of calves There. That one's due to carp in 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 
Let's keep telling you when they are, you can see for yourself. Plenty of calves on the farm this year, and the other dairy farm cattle. So we've got the sailor, which is the bowl for the year. Not be long before we've got calves, but for today that is where we will leave you. We will carry on, finish the day's work. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you are new to the channel and you'd like to see more of what we do here please subscribe to the channel if you give that bell a ring it will tell you when we do our farming when we do our racing until you join us again tomorrow thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your day goodbye for now